beautiful soul family and welcome to your all signs uh you versus them you can be on the first row or second row feel free to swap the energies around of course and them could be anybody in your life it could be a co-worker a parent a, a daughter a son it could be uh, towards the, your the collective or your environment work environment whatever it is okay and then uh the conclusion so uh, so I just wanted to say to all of you that at this time, uh, I'm going through a lot of transformations as we all are on the collective at this time. And I decided to slow down a bit, uh, because when it's time, when it, when the time is needed to rest, or if I need time to rest, of course, or time to take some hermit time, this is what I am going to be doing. Um, you know, and, um, so yeah, there's a lot of things that I'm going through at this time, and uh, I just want you all to be patient with me, and I know you are, and some of you are like, thank you for all your beautiful messages that I, you left me, you know, um, as I'm uh, going through some changes, um, you know, um, internally, externally. Um, I just want to say again, a thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for being here, for those of you that are here, and uh, I really enjoy what I do. This is my passion, as you call and um, all know. And uh, I don't know, uh, right today, this week, uh, I am doing all signs, okay, from September 18th to the 24th, okay. Um, and uh, I am going to be coming back again, but with different uh, modalities and uh, different, uh, maybe instead of doing weeklies, uh, I'm probably going to do some monthlies and then add in the all signs or different different readings in between um so again again thank you for being here and of course we're going to start with the sign of pisces and we're going to go all the way down to aries okay and um for those of you that could put a time stamp that would be very you know if you can that would be very nice uh because time stamps for me take me a long time so if someone out there could do it for me thank you so much um, I just want all of you to understand that if you feel tired, if you feel exhausted sometimes um, and you're thriving and you have to work, please take some time off, especially when it has to do with your health, with yourself, with your being, you know, and uh, take the time sometimes to even disconnect from the internet. Like I, that, that's what I've been doing. I've just disconnected completely uh, from the internet. And sometimes I'll post stuff like on Facebook or Instagram, you know, just to show that, hey, I'm still here. Um, I'm not gone, you know. Uh, but again, uh, take the time. You, you need to do that for yourself, okay? And sometimes it's very important to disconnect, all right? So let's get started with the sign of Air, uh, Pisces. This is from September 18 to the 24, okay, 2023. All right, let's see what's going on for Pisces. You versus them. Feel free to swap the energies around and feel free also to, uh, you know, to swap... Uh, you know, if you're, if, the, if you're not connected to anyone or anything in particular, then it, this is all you're reading, okay? So let's see what's going on here for you. Um, Pisces. My baby sharks. Let's see for Pisces from September 18 to the 24th. Well, things are going to be in balance. Something, some of you may be dealing with Libra, Karma. Could also be something coming into balance here for you. Okay, could be communication, um, fairness. Okay. Um, okay. Interesting. <clears throat> Uh, if there were situations of the past year uh, for you, Pisces, um, or let's say there were offers that were not tangible, okay, I feel that you went through a test uh, recently, or you have been going through, or you are going through tests right now, of people or situations that uh, do not, uh, are not coming in with any uh, real um, tangible thing or even some type of offers here. Whatever it is that uh, you're not putting up with anything anymore, this is what I'm I'm, I'm feeling that a lot of you have been doing a lot of work, okay, because you are coming into balance here. So uh, if there's 
offers being made, uh, could be love, could be friendship, could be anything here, any type of offers that are not tangible, you are walking away from that. Why? Because you're coming into healing here. There's a healing that's going on here, okay? And like I said, there's like some type of balance in, ter in terms of your of uh, maybe people in your life here, okay? And whatever this is, there's something long-term that's coming in for you with the Ten of Pentacles. So something long-term, this could be prosperity, buying a home, or some type of project that you're working on here, okay? And, um, or someone from your past, okay? Is also what I'm picking up for you. What else can you tell me for Pisces? I feel that there's some type of resistance that some of you might be going through at this time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if some, uh, you're coming in as the Queen of Swords. Now this could be someone that you're dealing with or this is how you're empowering in, as the Queen of Swords here, where you're, feel, you're feeling very, like you're, you say what you mean, okay, you're very lo logic and you're very blunt in certain areas and you're really focusing on yourself and where you wanna be in a project with a person your destiny, okay, because there's, there's some type of wish that's going to be granted here for you, okay, and healing that's going to take place. If situations of the past that were unstable in the home, in the family, or something happened here that caused the tower moment, okay, or you were in your head about it, I, I do see that there's some type of energy here. At one point, maybe you're resistant to some type of change. I'm hearing that you have to let go of a, a certain part of you, or you have to let go of something here to go into the new, okay? Uh, whatever this is, you've been doing a lot of healing. Maybe you've been helping people out there. This could be a marriage in a sense that's taking place here. But there's a resistance for an ending and a, and a new beginning to take place or a transformation to take place here, okay? Uh, there's been a point where in time there was a lot of sabotage of people not having your back. There was a lot of worry, not sleeping, having a lot of anguish and pain, okay? In a situation that you had to deal with. Okay, but what's turning, something is turning around here for you. Yes, there is. Yes, definitely. You've got the Nine of Cups, the Sun, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is beautiful. Okay, you're waiting for something to come in here. There's a sense of waiting for your ships to come in. When is it going to start? The success, this abundance, this love, whatever it is here. Okay, you do know, there's, there's been a lot of healing in terms of... Um, you know, uh, if you had your heart broken and or if you felt left out or ghosted or there was a lot of fear and not trusting your intuition. In the month of August, I feel that um, you had to use a lot of your inner strength to go through a situation where things are starting to get into alignment for you, okay? Into alignment. All right. Um, yeah, the sun is shining. There's a wish that's being granted here and with the Wheel of Fortune, this is destined and fated to come your way. So there's a lot of karma, balance, truth that is coming in for you. But still, there's some type of resistance for a transformation to take place. Okay? So now uh, we're going to take out, we're going to look at them. You versus them. So what is them? So this person that's around you is very stable. I have, I think there's more than one person for some of you. Okay, uh, there's someone that's very stable here. Um, you've been, this person has been nurturing themselves. They're very, they're very intellectual when it comes to business, mathematical, or numbers here. Something like that. Something here uh, in their, in their energy. Something ended for them. Okay, uh, they, because this is someone that was holding back, and they took charge. They're taking charge. Okay, they're def definitely taking charge after a time of uh, contemplating with the Two of Swords, okay? Because there was some type of connection here with the Two of Cups. And uh, maybe someone was tied to the material world. If not, there's a lot of prosperity. I also see you here as the Queen of uh, Pentacles as well, in the them. Or maybe they're watching you in that way. They know that you're very nurturing, that you're very caring, there's stability here. And someone has been, they have been observing you, okay, uh, definitely here. And uh, they've been in their head about it. And there's some type of freedom 
maybe a divorce someone had to go through or some type of freedom that they had to and they're, what they're showing up is is that they're they want to make a new beginning here okay they're taking a, a, a leap of faith let's look at this two of swords and energy but they are holding back how they truly feel here oh uh, yeah and it's slow moving energy yeah. they feel left out ghosted also they feel in the dark about things they've had, they had changes in terms of their stability here but things are starting to get aligned and there's a lot of um fear based energy or blocked intuition or there's like something um almost like not knowing you know not knowing the, the energy like not knowing uh the outcome in the situation so of course there's like a it's the, let me see what this has to do with it's almost like they're afraid to come and talk or okay well if someone here was being defensive at one point i feel they're putting their guards down and if someone did walk away, I do feel someone returning. So there is someone returning here. Uh, they want to offer something. If they see something here being very successful, this could be anything here for you. I don't know what this means. But there's a lot of success in this situation, okay? And there is going to be a judgment. And uh, there's going to be a lot of revelations taking place here. All right? So now we're going to look at uh, the conclusion and what... Uh, What is the conclusion here? There could be some type of reunion or celebration that's going to take place around you. I do see that. Um, if there was a time where uh, maybe you weren't talking with this person or there was some type of separation or whatever the case is, uh, or someone wasn't moving towards you, um, they were waiting for the right time. It's almost like someone here in the conclusion is about trusting your intuition here. Someone had to take time out to reevaluate everything and to really see the clarity in something here and they're taking charge towards something they want they want to bring something into balance here a hundred percent and they're again uh it's there's like it's a sense of something coming together with balance it's faded someone's taking charge they're trusting in the universe and moving forward i see stability here i do definitely i have the king and queen of swords and the king and queen of uh, pentacles um, but there's resistance here from someone there could be a uh, something is unfinished here definitely um, let me see something here I'm just gonna see something I got the king and queen of cups in the reverse so at this time, two people that are not able to communicate in terms with their emotions, okay? There's still uh, healing or healing that's taking place here in resistance and uh, should I or shouldn't I? But what is showing up here is that there is going to be action taking place here. And when? It's not being shown to me when. That's when. It, that's the thing. It's not being shown when. But there's definitely something coming into balance here. All right, so um, Pisces, this is for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And now next we're doing is Aquarius. I forgot my microphone. Yeah, well, that's what it is. I didn't think I was going to do the readings today. You're all doing well, Aquarius. So it's you versus them. And uh, take what's yours in the rest of and feel free to swap things around if you feel that the first, the first row isn't about you.
Okay, Aquarius. I'm very slow, so please don't mind me. I'm not gonna rush through this, and um, sorry about not having my microphone. Hopefully you can hear me. Aquarius, let's see what's going on. Now there's new beginnings that are taking place here for you, Aquarius. Um, you know, towards uh, socializing with your friends or networking, uh, reunions or people that you haven't seen or new people coming in. There's an energy here. Uh, maybe uh, if this is how you're feeling or I don't know who, because I am doing you right now. Um, I'm going to have to take out more cards. But you've got the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So... Maybe a lot of you are keeping quiet right now on how you're really feeling inside. Maybe you are telling your closest friends uh, or clo the closest people you know that you uh, engage with here. There's a sense of uh, still feeling left out or ghosted or feeling uh, abandonment. Uh, there could be, a sh or maybe this is you or someone, I don't know. But there could be heartbreak on this. So we're going to dig a bit deeper into this to see what else is uh, taking place or why you're feeling this way, right? I want to know why you're feeling, or if this is just an energy that uh, is leaving you at this time, um, or you're keeping quiet about, or maybe this could be someone around you in your group that's uh, feeling left out and heartbroken and feeling left out or abandoned in a situation, okay? So, and they're not telling you. I don't know. We'll see. Give me more cards for the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, please. Nine of Wands, Two of Swords. Hmm. And this is definitely a, a, a person that, a soulmate energy or someone that you spend time with. It could be someone from your past here, uh, for some of you. Um, you're in your head about something here. And since you, and I feel almost like you've been persevering and you've been going through your challenges and you're doing great. By all means, you're doing great. You're getting tested. You're persevering. But I feel like you're blocking something here. Uh, there's a lot of modalities here that you are trying maybe in terms of healing or you are, or people come and see you or you go see others. It, 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 it's like taking the higher road in a situation here. Something about the past has to be healed. What's this all about? What's the coincidence? Give me another card for the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Swords, please. Justice is coming in for you. Something is coming into balance finally. And it's about balancing, yes, definitely. It's about the truth, it's about fairness, it's about karma, releasing karma here. So, uh, Something's definitely coming into balance. Yep. Definitely here. And you're in your Queen of Swords energy. You're, that's how you're... Maybe at times you feel you're being pulled into different directions. But you are trying to bring balance. It's important to stay grounded at this time as much as possible. Because you are in your Queen of Swords energy where you're thinking logically. If you have to be blunt, you're blunt. Okay. And um, there's an ending of a cycle. There's an ending of a cycle for you, Aquarius. And I'm, uh, you know, it's, 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 it wasn't a pretty one. It was very difficult for you. Uh, but you're coming out of it. And there's light at the end of the tunnel. There will be success and victory. And you're taking charge, uh, actually, uh, of your life. And you're trusting into the universe and to your signs. And, uh, you know, it's also a very ambitious card as well for uh, business or anything that you're doing here. There's a sense of recognition that's going to be uh, seen towards you. Um, very nice to see that and um, yeah so we're gonna look at uh, them let's see them but there's definitely uh, taking a leap of faith here so you will be traveling as well there's traveling indicated here for you okay so let's look at them there's an offer by them there's someone that's gonna be coming in Okay, unexpected, very quickly to give, to ask or to give you an offering, something tangible, could be money, it doesn't have to be money, 
It could be anything here, okay? There's definitely that coming in. You've been waiting for this. This is about success and victory here, okay? It could be something, uh, it could be uh, in terms of, uh, for some of you, it could be long distance or uh, traveling indicated, uh, okay? But definitely, I've uh, been waiting for this to come in. It's coming in. Yes, there's uh, going to be a lot of offers. Okay. All right. What are we dealing with here? Um, could be a friend, could be an associate, could be anybody here. There's an offer coming in. And this offer, whatever this offer is that's coming in for you, I feel there's more than one. Okay, so let's, there's about maybe, it could be two offers. I'll let you know. Anyways, um, there's something completing with you and this other person, whoever them is. Okay, there's a completion. You're going to the next level in finances and love, whatever it is. Just again, traveling, car traveling, airplane. I, I see you traveling. Okay, a lot of traveling. Uh, in, in, in energy here and it's about you taking action towards something uh, or this person has to take action towards you but at this time they're not why because they're contemplating they're they're like almost like they're watching you right to see like they're trying to see the bigger picture and in, in, in the situation they're reevaluating everything okay at this time they're at crossroads and it's about the two of cups right so there is love here it could be love all right and the sun is shining on this. So this is about positivity, right? And it's uh, it, it's in divine timing here. Got the king of wands. So Aries, I do have Aries, that, that Leo energy, uh, very strong here. Could be also Sagittarius, okay? Uh, but uh, something is coming in divine timing. And there's someone seeing this as there's a bigger picture to the situation. So this is why I feel that they're going to complete. Something is going to get, a cycle is completing for you. Beautiful. Um, and, uh, yeah, someone here is going to take action because, uh, something is kind of coming to balance here. It's beautiful. Something is coming into balance and there's going to be a huge transformation that's going to take place with this. Okay. So now we're going to look at the conclusion. What's the conclusion for Aries, Page of Cups, the Hermit. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Oh, I like that. Ten of Pentacles. There's something long term. I also see the Queen of Wands. So I know you're very magnetic uh, in energy, Aquarius. Okay, um, very determined, very passionate. Uh, there's passion between two people here. Okay, I do see that. Uh, at this time, again, in the conclusion is that uh, maybe at this time both of you are taking time to. Uh, Reflect, okay, and there's offers, possibilities, messages coming in, something trying to come into balance. The truth will be spoken. There will be a breakthrough here. There's something long-term, which is could be money. It doesn't have to be just money. It could be an inheritance. It could be a prosperity, of course, a buying a home, an estate, or it could be a relationship that is coming in with the truth and something that's coming in long-term. And yes, there is a judgment here. Mm -hmm. There is, okay. Healing is required. Patience is required. This is true love. There is an abundance around you uh, in the togetherness when you guys come together. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed it. And now let's tool towards Capricorn. Capricorn, hi. Welcome to your all signs. This is from September 18th to the 24th. So this is about you versus them. You, of course, and them. Them can be anybody. If there's nobody, then it's all about you. Okay, and then I will show you the conclusion as well. So let's see what's going on here. Feel free to swap the energies around as well. Okay, and take what's yours from the reading and let the rest go. So let's see what's happening for you, Capricorn. nurturing yourself at this time Capricorn whether you're male or female in energy okay you have deep feelings here definitely deep, deep feelings okay so you're open there's gonna be a message coming in a very quick message okay a very haste message coming in for you uh, that will cause a transformation in your life there'll be an ending of a situation a new beginning and a transformative energy that's taking place and it's gonna come in with the Sun Okay, so something very positive here uh, that's taking place here for you, okay? It's positivity, 
it's some type of transformation that's taking place and yes there's a lot of uh, good things here taking place for you i know that you have been burdened in the past you've been carrying a lot of weight on your shoulders for a long time okay and uh you're ending a cycle here also a cycle of uh, if you had anxiety or pain or anything uh, of sort that you weren't able to sleep and you've been taking care of yourself. Like I said, you've been nurturing yourself. There's prosperity around you. You've been doing it on your own here. Okay, so that's very nice to see. And um, I also see that there will be celebrations around you in terms of friendships, maybe, uh, networking, socializing, uh, could be romance for some of you. Whatever it is, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of celebration after a time of hard work here. Um, you're standing your ground. That's nice to see that. You're standing your ground. And, um, you know, you've been generous with your time and with your energy. There's something coming into balance here for you. Uh, but at this time also, you know, at this time as you're doing your journey here, you know, you could be feeling, um, you know, like uh, not like, hang on, okay. It could be fear that's based into this. There could be fear. Um you're feeling an illusion around something deception here um, some of you are not being able to trust your intuition at this time in the unknown there's no there's not a time frame at this time the only time frame i do see is october and november for you okay and you've been making you're making a break for it you're making a break for something here okay you've been keeping very very quiet about it you've been observing also very observant but you're coming in with the truth here in a situation and there is your intuition it's about because maybe your intuition will be blocked in the sense of not knowing where you're going at this time in this situation here okay um you know you are going to take action eventually because there is some type of uh you know knowingness or, or your intuition is going to be on target there'll be messages coming in that could be also your psychic energy that's amplifying here and things are going to be coming into alignment there is some type of uh, pr uh, prosperity around you or some type of gift or something tangible that's coming in and uh, you have to make a decision so take your time in making this decision capricorn now we're going to look at them Okay, well with them there there's a wish fulfillment that they want as well mm, yeah this is like could be a marriage for some of you or uh it could be like a in terms of love could be love towards yourself it's about happiness family it's about you know it could be a marriage it could be anything any type of relationship it's about stability and being happy here it's about achieving something and there is definitely an offer coming in a hundred percent here i do see an offer mm -hmm. It could be at, around work. It could be work. it could be a work situation, like I said. It could be work or just an offer coming in. It could be around workspace or um, your a community here. Uh, I feel like a strong foundation. Okay, help. Okay, like teamwork and people helping each other. Uh, at this time, uh, this person is uh, taking time out to reevaluate everything. Okay, um, they're they're going through a journey here. Okay, a healing journey where maybe they have conflict in a situation, there could have been drama or conflict. Someone's taking time out right now to, um, I guess, heal in this situation. Um, there is gonna be new opportunities coming for you financially, but I do see that for you. Prosperity, I do see that. I see pregnancy for some of you, or just something coming to uh, a birth of something new coming in. Uh, for some of you, this could, uh, there's also, a, um, you got the lover's card. Uh, there is a decision here, a choice here that has to be made. Definitely. But whatever the situation was with this person that you're dealing with, I feel that there was trust issues here. Someone not trusting. They had conflict about something. And they were feeling stuck. They were in their head about it. They were thinking negatively. That's why they, they had to step out or take out, remove themselves. Because they have to take time out to reflect on everything uh, and not move in that and just check like almost like they had a tower moment take place okay uh, i do see better times coming ahead for this person they're coming in very slowly you're taking their time this is definitely someone from your past someone from your past is returning for some of you 
And um, well, not sure what you're gonna do here because you do have a choice to make or they have a choice to make whether this is you or them. Uh, but someone here might be walking away or moving on from a situation, okay? Definitely, uh, there's a lot of, uh, someone here is going through a transition, all right? So let's see the conclusion. Patience is needed and healing. Also communication, moderation has to take place here for uh, Whatever that you've been, whatever the conclusion is, is that if both parties keep working on a set, or it's you working on something here, just keep working on it because patience is needed, okay? And uh, compromise is needed. From a time where they, someone felt left out or ghosted, or they were holding back here, if it's in terms of money as well, or some type of you know money or something that's coming in for you, I feel that there's a rise like in money here that's coming in, and. Um, there's going to be a judgment and i feel a judgment took place in, could have taken place in the month of august but there's something that's coming into place where there has to be vulnerability some form of vulnerability inner strength to go through something because there will be uh, a judgment here okay that's an awakening some of you are going through a renewal there could be a renewal here uh, and forgiveness in a situation and uh i feel a uh, love that's going to be outpouring from you Okay, and there is a new beginning. It's about taking a leap of faith here. It all depends what you want to do, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And next we're doing is Sagittarius. Hi, Sagittarius, and welcome to All Signs. This is from September 18th to the 27th. I hope you're all doing well. So my readings will be a bit more slower than usual, right? I'm not going to speed through them. Um, Whatever has to come to say, has to come to say. So it's about you and them. Them could be anybody in your life. If there's nobody in your life, then this reading is all about you, okay? And there will be a conclusion as well. So you take what's yours for the reading and you let your rest go. Okay, and feel free to swap the energy around if I'm not talking about you, all right? So let's see what's happening inside you from September 18th to the 24th. Enthusiastic about something here. Something is uh, definitely you've been seeing the signs on something. There's a definitely a spark, a sense of spark within yourself or around you right now. Okay, something is coming in divine timing. Um, you're taking charge, or you have been. Uh, July was a very strong month for you. June, July, I would say. Some of you, this, uh, some of you are not. Uh, some your Sagittarius is probably in your rising or moon. Whatever the case is, you took charge here and you're moving forward, okay? You're trusting in the universe. Uh, your light shadow energy is, a, is definitely in balance here, okay? And there could be travel indicated. There's stability also around you in terms of your community, home, okay? Whatever this is, there's some type of celebrations taking place or just a lot of stability here in the situation. Um, let's see what else here. Let's see. Uh, you had a lot of burden at one point here, um, and there, there's an ending of a cycle that you had to go through. Uh, you know, and it was very, very hard on you, and also the people around you. I also feel that um, there is a definitely a, a, a some type of uh, prosperity or inspiration here uh, after a time of contemplating. Okay, after a time of contemplating, there is some type of uh, inspiration. Um, in terms of work, your passion within you, around you. Um, let's see, because I do feel like you went through some type of pain here and rejection or not even rejection, or there was a sense where there was maybe a regret or uh, you were refusing a lot of people or offers in terms of, uh, I feel for some of you, uh, you had to go through, uh, you know, there was maybe some type of heartbreak, okay, in the situation, uh, in terms of business, in terms of, I don't know if there was something that term, I want to go more with the Three of Swords wide showing up here for you. Uh, but the good thing is that you're going through a transition at this time and there's better times coming ahead for you. There is a wish fulfillment that wants to be given to you here. 
and there will be a judgment. Um, a lot of you are going through a spiritual awakening. There could be a renewal here. I want to see why this uh, Three of Swords showed up for you here. Why is the Three of Swords here? Now you're trying to bring something into balance here. Definitely. Why is the Three of Swords here? Well, from a time where you've probably been, you have to do a lot of healing or, um, uh, I feel like you are stable in, in terms of your heart, in terms of finances. You're, what you're showing me is that there is a new beginning, okay? It's about you taking a leap of faith, okay? Uh, definitely. Now, let's look at the person that you are, um, let's look at, uh, sorry, at them. So you have to be careful uh, with them, whoever them is <laughs> for you. Uh, there's, there could be like an energy of people not having your back. You know, they're poking at you. They're trying to trigger you here. There's an energy of that, okay, that's taking place. You maybe feel defeated. They feel defeated, okay, in a situation. Uh, it's important. Uh, well, whatever it is with them is that uh, they are... Um, Let's say they were sabotaging or they sabotage something here. Uh, they're trying to really honestly uh, um, trust their intuition. Maybe they have trouble trusting their intuition because of their emotions here, okay? And there's, it's almost like they're destined to come in again. So there's some type of uh, destiny here. There's going to be an offer, maybe an apology coming in. Yes, there's definitely offers coming in. Okay, it could be a new job. It could be money coming in. Uh, it could be an apology. It could be prosperity coming in. And there's going to be a very quick message, very haste message coming in to bring you this, okay? Uh, or they're going to bring you this. Well, this is the message that like, is coming through. Um, patience is needed in this, okay? Um, moderation, and there will be a compromise. If, there, if something has to come in as a renewal, there has to be compromise. And there's beautiful healing that's taking place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, there's an energy for someone here that's uh, really attached to the material world or there's someone here that has addictions could be any type of addictions or someone here that has patterns okay this pattern of not trusting not trusting the situation but what, what's being shown to me is that you will have clarity there's going to be clarity with this uh, individual or them whoever this them is okay let me see why this card showed up for you. Well, for them. So someone's coming here. It's about a cre something creative, maybe, that you're doing something new. For others of you, this, this is about being open. There's proposals and offers coming in. There's someone arriving here. Uh, there is stability with this individual. Someone here has been nurturing themselves. They really are open. Uh, they want they want love here. There's going to be a lot of messages, and uh, your intuition is going to start, or their intuition. Uh, but sometimes, somehow, because you ended up also here, uh, it, if you are linked with this person, or if this is you, is your intu intuition is going to be. Um, you're not going to be holding back any longer or they're not going to be holding back this is supposed to be a huge transformation or ending and a new beginning taking place or an ending of a situation like i said but it's going to be a huge transformation here okay between you and them let's look at the conclusion there's a wish that's going to be granted here there's abundance in this yeah there's hope creativity Whatever that uh, the conclusion is, is that whatever you've been working on, keep doing it, even though you have been, there's been burden and heartache and um, there's something that's coming in here uh, that's going to bring you abundance and it's definitely, uh, it's, it's going to take a lot of inner strength for you to go through this, uh, definitely, okay, and I do see, uh, uh, you know, I do, I see here someone that is, um, I see wealth around you, uh, prosperity, uh, some whatever it is keep working on yourself because there's going to be there could be some type of collaboration that's coming in it could be also in your environment or in your work or just in your community there's teamwork here definitely a beautiful energy a strong foundation here uh in this situation okay so um
just need to trust your intuition uh, because there's someone here that has patterns and it, and, and the patterns uh, sometimes it, it, you know it, it, they do come up right if someone is scared if they have fear about something uh, but I do feel that they are trying uh, to heal that and to really trust their intuition okay so that's what i have for you Saj. i hope you enjoyed it so scorpio hi uh welcome to your all awesome. stars. this is from september 18th to the 24th It's about you versus them. Them could be anybody. If there's nobody, then it's all about you. And I will also look at the conclusion. The stupid sweater. It keeps, I keep buttoning it. It keeps on buttoning it. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Scorpio. My Scorpio babies. happening with you Scorpio okay there's some type of communication coming in you're also looking at things in a different way right now Scorpio uh, August was a very tiring month for you uh, in terms of communication it wasn't the greatest okay I do feel that uh, there was a need of uh, being more vulnerable okay um, you're trying to manifest and you're trying to raise or you are raising your vibration you have all the tools here and you're starting to learn about the law of attraction I do see that um, yeah, so whatever it is that you have to go through, there's a cycle, and I feel in the month of August, a cycle. Now, a cycle could be short-term, could be long-term, but just a cycle that's ending, okay? And there is light at the end of the tunnel, and something is definitely, karma is coming in, and something is coming into balance. There will be fairness and truth here, and there's an offering coming in, okay? It could be a, any type of, it could be an offering of money or just like something tangible. You are, at this time, thinking logically, because I do feel that your heart has to be more open in the situation here. Um, I see another energy attached to you here as well, uh, that someone is looking at you very passionately here. Um, and someone has to, um, definitely I feel that someone here wants to take charge or take action towards you, right? Uh, but you're like uh, ready, and uh, in a sense you're ready to take this. But at the same time, I feel that uh, you're overthinking. Maybe this is you. Maybe you're overthinking something. Maybe you're overthinking something and you're thinking negatively about negatively. Maybe you're self-talk, you know, sometimes that. You're feeling stuck, you're in your head about it. But uh, what Spirit is asking you to do here is to take action. Uh, Leo is very strong in your chart, okay? There could be confusion, a lot of options in terms of emotions or ap maybe lacking apathy here or uh, a lot of uh, not... Uh, this could be regrets or not taking any, um, uh, could be boredom at this time. Um, not wanting to see something here, rejection, rejection. But what they're showing me is that there is going to be recognition and success here. And definitely there's a wish that's going to be granted, hope, creativity. Something is going to be granted to you. At this time, you're reevaluating yourself. So give yourself time. But at the same time, they're saying, Try not to overthink too much about it and try not to get stuck in that. As you're ending the cycle, you're going to feel the ending of a cycle, right? It's not just, okay, you're ending a cycle and you're moving forward. There will be light at the end of the tunnel. You are, you're going to come out of this, okay? And to be patient here. And uh, not to, uh, whatever the case is, uh, uh, try not to, uh, as you're doing, you're reevaluating. Because I do see uh, abundance of outpouring of love coming in or celebration or love here for you, okay? But there's also, you're, it's almost like within you, like you you, you want to go for something, but you're not because there could be energies of, you're, you're feeling fearful. There could be energies of, uh, of patterns that keep coming up here. So what they're saying is to keep working on yourself here, okay? Just to keep working because there's not really a time or something that you've been asking, when is it going to happen? It's not showing up like that. They want you to stay in the moment. But there will be a new beginning and you will have to take a leap of faith, Okay because uh, this has to do with your happiness here or a relationship. Let's look at them. Let's look at them. Oh, 
Well, on their side, they're completing something. They're also going through a different cycle than you are. They're going to the next level of their cycles, their success and victory. They could be traveling, okay, and energy. Uh, what I feel here, uh, that they don't see this as, as uh, they're completing something right now, whoever you're attached to, uh, Scorpio. They're more like defensive, okay? Someone here is on the defense, they're, they're taking a stand. Uh, they, they're, they're not really taking action. They're contemplating which direction to go, okay? They definitely want to bring something into balance here, okay? But I don't know if it's more in terms of friendship here. Um, it could be in, in, uh, in their community or in work. Whatever it is here, there's a strong foundation in terms of something coming into balance. And they are taking charge, okay? So they're, they're, I do see them, whoever them are, there is traveling indicated, but they're taking their power back here. After a time of uh, hurt, uh, they, they've been hurt. Maybe they were married. I don't know if they were in a long-term relationship here, but they almost like they buried themselves in work, okay? Uh, to overcome the situation. And they've been, whoever this person is, uh, they've been observing you. All right, and they're not sure 100% because they have like, still because they're still heartbroken from uh, things of the past here. Uh, there could be a sense of someone like sabotaging it or thinking that negative about something here. Okay, about someone here. Yeah, someone, really, there, there is gonna be some type of unexpected message coming in for you. And yeah, I, I, I would, uh, I would uh, I would uh, make sure if because uh, there could be deception here and I feel someone here is holding back how they truly feel they're being very secretive here they are making progress slowly but whatever they're coming in with they're being pulled into different directions they don't know which direction to go uh, they're taking their time and uh, they're not coming in with anything stable okay um, so watch also people that are coming around you uh, in sense of your finances, you know, are they dating you or are, you, or are they being with you because of your finances? Um, whatever the case is, uh, you know, um, I feel that, uh, yeah, there's something here that's not kosher. Okay, so, well, I'm giving you a heads up, all right? At the end of the day, you have to make, uh, you have to make, you have to make that uh, that decision, okay, in whatever they're trying to come in at you here okay for me i feel that you're ending a cycle with someone from your past and there's something new that's taking place here for you all right all right so let's look at the conclusion yeah there could be a reading in here there is a judgment that someone that you have to make okay someone's willing and open and the sun is shining on this but there's con someone here wants to control the situation I feel someone here wants to control the situation, like control the outcome, control the situation, I always want to be in control, okay? Um, yeah, there is an offer coming in, that's definitely here. I do have the King and Queen of Pentacles, okay? Stability is here, that's definitely, could be a friendship that, uh, you know, uh, it's gonna take time to, but like I said, whatever this is here, um, There's been a lot of conflict around the situation or with this person. And um, whatever the case in the conclusion, it, what it shows me here is someone has to take action, okay? There's stability, there's prosperity, there's a, a renewal, there uh, could be a reunion, it's about celebration here. But something is coming in uh, to show you that, uh, to show you some type of abundance, okay? Uh, but like I said, I don't know, uh, in the them here, I could, this could be someone completely different. Because there is two people. I, I feel like there's two energies here on your end and their end. So whoever that's coming in, be careful of your money. And if they're coming in to give you something, they're not coming in with any stability. Okay, it won't be stable. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Libra, and welcome to your all signs. So uh, this is about you, you versus them. Yeah, and them could be anybody in your life. And if there's nobody attached to your life, then this could be about your community home life or anything or also uh you know uh the world <laughs> uh so um also feel free to swap the energies around uh, if you feel that you're more connected to the second row than the first row then take what's yours and let the rest go okay so let's start with you libra libra from september 18 to the 24th Hey Libra, 
wow, you're on fire, Libra. You know, you're very magnetic, very beautiful, uh, also very uh, passionate. Uh, of course, uh, you're very vibrant, you know, in energy. So there's a lot of like you know, people coming towards you. It could be towards uh, a lot of self-confidence in yourself. Okay, or maybe this is what you're working on. Um, so what's being shown to me here is that, um, you know, you're taking more time out for yourself at this time, I feel. And, uh, you know, maybe you're resting, you're healing, whatever your case is, uh, there's a lot of nurturing energy around you. Okay, I feel like you're very much nurturing yourself and self-love and self-care. Um, so let's see what else is here. Okay, so what's being shown to me is that uh, around this time, you will be taking time out, you know, to reflect on things, uh, maybe to go, uh, to go deeper into your healing journey in case there's patterns or situations here. Because um, there's like, there's, um, there's an energy of like, uh, maybe at this time, you feel that your intuition is not like right on target about something or there's illusion deception around you there's also fear based energy okay uh, and there's something that is not like uh, is not being revealed to you at this time so uh, i feel here uh, is that uh, you will be taking time out uh, and to really reflect on stuff and keep nurturing yourself and building your self-confidence and your stability and um you're coming in with uh, three queens on the ground. So that's like you've got the queen of wands, the queen of pentacles, and the queen of swords. It doesn't matter. Just in the energy field here. Um, you're very logic, okay? And, um, you know, you're thinking logically about your next steps. And you're not letting anybody in as much as you did before, okay? Uh, there's something here that there's a decision that you will have to make. Okay, some, uh, maybe a couple of decisions, maybe two decisions, okay, something here, uh, maybe there's a truce here, maybe something that's been stalemate. As you're, uh, as you're going through your journey, there's obstacles along the way, uh, and you are very persistent in moving forward, okay, as you're going through these tests, which shows me it's a completion that's going on here. And again here, uh, you're trying to bring something into balance in your life, okay, so, so it's a lot about bringing something into balance. Uh, I do feel that there will be some type of clarity when it comes to your intuition, okay, after you do this, um, I, um, I, I, when you start take, uh, taking time out here, I feel that you're going to start understanding more about your intuition and really following through here, okay. Um, it, oh, again, the light flickered out. <laughs> Okay, they want the lights out, they want the lights out. So we're going to keep it like this because I'm not going to get up now to do anything. Uh, so yeah, there's def... Oh, the lights are back on again. <laughs> okay, I acknowledge my angels. I'm not touching anything with the lights. And this happened in the Scorpio reading uh, two weeks ago when the lights were going on and off. That's a sign. Okay, so definitely here uh, there's going to be uh, an energy where it shows that uh, there's going to be communication taking place here, okay. Um, there will be news coming in and maybe the news that you're looking for will be a bit delayed. But it's important to trust your intuition because something is not being shown to you. And at the end of the day, you got the Ten of Pentacles. So there is some type of um, cum accumulation here. This could be... Uh, some type of prosperity, inheritance, or or money. It could be uh, something long term or a large a large sum of money coming in for you. So and it, 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 there is a, I do see that there's stable. It's about being stable in the situation and also some type of fulfillment. So there is something that's coming true now, like a wish fulfillment or something. They're also showing me here is that at this time you're probably feeling trapped or confined or there's self limiting beliefs that you're feeling here. Or lack of uh, d direction at this time okay but it, you need to be in this position of the hangman okay because there is uh, something is going to be inspired here and you're going to take control of your life again so now let's look at them okay them whoever this them is for you and then we're going to look at the conclusion oh. Okay, so there is some type of love offer here. Now, it could be a friendship, of course. It could be a, a friendship or partnership. Uh, it could be anything. It could be a potential soulmate or relationship or an attraction here. Uh, but someone here is not at this... Whoever that them is, uh, I don't know. It's almost like someone here has regrets, you know, or they're refusing to... Um, they're refusing. Oh, again, the lights go off. <laughs> Come on, angels. 
leave the lights on. <laughs> um, or some type of offers are coming in. Someone here is rejecting it. The lights are back on again. Okay. Um, Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius or something with the Sag and Sagittarius energy. It doesn't have to be the sun sign. It could be a rising or a moon. Whatever the case here is that it it's going to take patience. It's going to take time here. Okay, something about patience and taking time. And something has to come into uh, some type of uh, compromis uh, comprom compromising energy is what I'm feeling here. Okay. Uh, they, they could be daydreaming also about you too, you know, if that's the case. Um this is someone that's very traditional, uh, very, very traditional to what you are, okay? Um, but there's some type of commitment here. This, can, this doesn't have to be love. It could be friendship. It could be anything here. Okay, let's see. There is a, there's a tower that's taking place in their life, okay? So there is going to be some type of tower, some type of change here for them as well, okay? And this is someone that's very mature. They're very stable. They're very grounded in energy as well. Uh, just know that they're going through an ending and there's a new beginning for them. So they're going through some type of transformation that's taking place for them. Okay. Uh, because they have, uh, somehow they're like, there's some type of conflict within them or around them, or there could be drama in a situation and it has to do with their friendships. Uh, so some of them, it's about friendships here. Okay. Uh, there could be a, there could be a, the conflict could be around people around them. Okay. People that they maybe network with friendships, whatever the case is. Okay. But, uh, see, I got the King and Queen of Wands. It's two signs that are very like, whoever this is for you, again, the lights go off. It's like, un unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh my God. <laughs> there must be a message here for someone. Um, you'll see what that means for you. But there's two energies that are very, uh, like I said, uh, there's, there's a lot of um, passion here, okay? And this is someone that's going to take control or is someone that gonna, is going to take action. Um, it's been, something's been difficult for them uh, in, in terms of maybe their relationships or friendships or something like that. There's been a lot of sleepless nights uh, for them. And, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're carrying a lot on their shoulders. There's a lot of burden around them in this situation, okay? There's, there's really a lot of burden definitely here you know they feel they feel maybe sadness around the situation but there will be an offer coming in so they, they might come in to apologize or give you some type of offer okay uh so i don't know who this person is for you this could be a for some of you this could be a marriage it could be a partnership or but i feel that there's been some type of separation here definitely or it's like something happened in that way a lot of fear-based energy on your end and some of you are going through at this time maybe if you're feeling chaotic at this time libra i do feel that some of you are going through a, a metamorphosis or a dark night of the soul okay um so let's see here what is the conclusion for you libra There's a new beginning here. It's about taking a leap of faith. Uh, I feel messages are going to come in. So there's going to be messages coming in very quickly. Things are starting to get aligned. Again, the lights. Uh, what's being shown to me is that there's going to be some type of proposal. Um, there's stableness in the home, uh, celebrations in the home, uh, less interference in the home. But there's some type of, this could be in your, uh, in, com uh, in a community or in a, in a home, in a business, whatever it is here, there's action, okay, that's taking place solid. And uh, also sensing that uh, maybe, I don't know if this is you or them, but feeling defeated here, okay? Uh, it's about surrendering, reevaluation. It's important at this time to remain patient, okay? It's very important because this is someone that's returning to, the, to their roots and this is someone from the past, okay? Uh, it could be a soulmate or someone from your past, definitely, okay, or um, just uh, past influences, okay, uh, maybe feeling nostalgic, but there could be like a new happiness, uh, family, happy families together, or a new beginning that's taking place here for you, okay, definitely long-term relationship or some type of stability or security that, that's coming in, and you are, both of you, are you and them are going through a transition right now, okay, both of you are almost on the same page, okay, so it's about healing, it's about moving on uh, from uh, things that were very difficult here 
And But like I said, there's a new beginning that's taking place, okay? So I hope you enjoyed your reading, Libra. And next we are... Hi, Virgo, and welcome to the All Signs. You versus them. Them could be anybody in your life. And if there's no attachments to you, then it's about... The soul reading is about you, all right? It could be about the world at large, your community, your home, your home. All right, uh, so uh, feel free to swap the energies around if you feel I'm not talking about you. And uh, take what's yours in the reading and let the rest go. Now, the lights have been flickering since I did the Libra reading. This is a new, it's a brand new light. There's no default on it, but the angels maybe are trying to have fun with it. So maybe you're going to see the lights go on and off, okay? <laughs> so just be prepared for that. All right, and... Uh, Lights on, lights off. <laughs> so let's see what's going on here for you, Virgo. I'm recording this around the new moon in Virgo, maybe a couple of days before. So don't forget to do your ritual. Okay. Oh, or planting new seeds. All right. Virgo. Let's see what's going on here for you. Yeah, so you're walking away. From people's situations in your life or maybe this is what you have been doing you're searching for a deeper meaning for some of you you, you are okay you're in power you're feeling empowered here and you the angels are guiding you and I do feel that you know this okay as you're going through something here um, you're taking also time out here you're also taking here time out uh, to meditate for some of you you're recuperating at this time or you're contemplating which direction you need to go, especially if it has to do with your finances or your stability here, because there is some type of uh, prosperity pro prosperity around you, okay? Uh, you're being very generous at this time as well. There is a wish fulfillment here that wants to wants to show up here for you. So there's a wish fulfillment. Something is destined and fate. I feel that you do know this, that there's a direction that you need to go here. You're inspired, okay? You have faith here. And you are definitely going through a death and rebirth at this time. So you are releasing. There's going to be endings maybe in, in cycles in your life or people, friendship, jobs, whatever it is here. There's a transformation and some type of freedom. Uh, and at the same time, uh, you, I do feel that there's there could be, for some of you, fear-based energy here, okay? Or blocked in a blocked intuition and that's why it's important uh, at this time what you are doing is that you're taking time out to heal maybe just to rest okay to just clear your energy and med meditate here so uh, there could be some type of revelation uh, through your dreams that is going to be shown to you uh, and i do see that you are again very magnetic here you've been taking care of yourself uh, of course you're very smart right and uh, you're very determined to move forward here um there could be some type of emotional situation that's taking place here. There could be um, an energy here that uh, it's about you opening your heart to something here. There could be uh, something, of course, a romantic. If not, it's, there's something here that you're releasing from yourself, okay? And that was very traumatic or trauma. There was some type of trauma and you are taking charge and moving forward. There's a lot of willpower on your end and there's some type of recognition and victory. And this, this could, even though I'm doing this in September, this could have taken place in um, the month of June, July for some of you Virgos, okay? And uh, you're like a, you're going through a transformation right now. So uh, this is now happening till, who knows, maybe till November. I also see it happening till, <clears throat> I would say January, February, and till March of 2024. Now this is not for all of you, okay? But you'll know if this is for, but like whatever I'm saying here is that, uh, you know, you're taking charge, okay? Uh, there's been a lot of uh, negativity around you or maybe a lot of worry or not sleeping at night but I do see that here you are definitely um, making progress around that and making progress around your journey uh, you're uh, you're very supportive at this time okay and uh, there's you're very organized and responsible and uh, there's something coming into balance here for you okay definitely okay um, there's like some type of windfall because you've been very generous with people or situations here. There's, there's been charity, but something is definitely coming into a balance here. And there's a, a new sense of, with the page of wands here, a new sense of creative. Uh, you're motivated and you're feeling enthusiastic. You're in divine timing. So there's an ending. So you are going through endings. Okay. So that's just 
letting you guys know that you are going through endings at this time and there's going to be freedom from a cycle that's been very very difficult on you and you will recover okay so it's important to understand that um, with the nine of cups that wishes dreams and happiness will follow through um, because there will be some type of relationship or something new starting here for you okay there could be also a sense of your intuition okay or being fulfilled uh, whatever it is there's an overpouring of love within you around you celebration around you okay so now we're going to look at them let's see what them what they're up to and what they're doing at this time Now, whoever that you're dealing with, they uh, they are uh, they are prosperous as well. They're very stable in their community, in their home here. Uh, they're very contented, okay. And there's a lot of celebrations around them as well, okay. Um, they're 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 also uh, they're going through some type of healing, and they're, uh, he, they're healing at this time. There's a lot of healing. They're trying to bring something into balance. There's some type of compromise here they have to do, self control, and they have to moderate something. But it's important to have patience with this person because this person is that's what they're going through in their community in their home whatever this means for them okay and um they're they're operating right now uh as the queen of swords okay like they're very cold maybe uh or they're very experienced okay they know what they, and they have a you know very sarcastic kind of energy maybe they're not communicating at this time because they're trying to bring balance in their home in their community in their whatever it is here they're trying to do something here okay um you know they're 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 trying to bring something into balance here so i do see another energy attached to you virgo whether it's this or it's you or them, but this is someone here. Uh, I have the king and queen of uh, swords here that are showing up in them. So this is someone that's very objective, very respected, and very knowledgeable, and they're, they're someone here that's been observing. Uh, they see success in this situation and recognition and self. There's something about uh, they're really putting a lot of work into their self-worth and self-esteem here, and there will be some type of, uh, there's definitely a reflection that's taking place here. A rebirth that they're going through and uh, there will be uh, also um, some type of renewal here they're looking at uh, their past mistakes okay that's what they're doing here they're looking at their past mistakes um, you know and they're like um, they're reassessing everything they're very compassionate and understanding and trustworthy they have they have what it takes to give okay but like I said, they're going through a renewal, okay? And uh, they're trying to bring something into balance here. Um, there could be some type of, uh, they're looking in the past here. Hmm. Okay. There's something here that they're not wanting to face in terms of their friendships, in terms of something that I'm going to find out what they're trying because they're 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 distracted okay and uh, they're, they're they're discontented and they don't have apathy at this time because they're in the queen of swords energy um so they are actually turning their back on something to work on something else okay definitely but there's a new beginning here that, which shows up as an opportunity or something creative and someone taking action there's someone here that's they're going through their own challenges at this time so they're very uh, determined and their resistance there's a lot of resistance to this and they're really feeling burdened uh they're feeling overworked they're stressed okay and they're imbalanced at this time and um they're waiting for something they're waiting for something to change your in ter terms of their talent or in terms of their work whatever it is here there's some type of collaboration uh, they want something they want a strong foundation here and uh, there's a sense of they want also love if it has to be with family or love or some type of blessings for them okay so they're they're daydreaming about this a lot okay and um they're uh, it's like it's being shown to them that there's a new beginning but they have they do have self-doubt okay so uh there is going to be some type of uh tower that's coming through for them and with this tower they're also going through a spiritual awakening at this time so uh someone here is uh pausing okay there's some type of stalemate all right like i said they're trying to bring something into balance here okay 
So let's see what the conclusion is. Here we go. There could be dependency on the situation here. Uh, there could be patterns that keep showing up on both parties or one party, uh, whatever it is, there's illusions, um, could be attached to the material world or uh, money or there's some type of ego in, in the situation here. It's like they don't feel free or this could be both. You don't, you both don't feel free. If this is only about you, that almost feels like you're not, you don't feel free at this time. Though the door is open, you don't feel free to walk through it. Um, yeah, so there's planning, there's progress here. If there's whatever this is, if it's a partnership, whatever it is, there's still no action taking place here. Um, there is some type of uh, maybe an apology, an offer coming through. Again, someone here is trying to bring balance into their life. And yes, there could be some type of communication that's going to come in, but it's going to be um, very truthful. Whatever the communication is, is going to be very truthful because there is someone here that's very disappointed. Okay, uh, in, in the conclusion here, it just means that um, there will be communication. Okay, one or both parties are still feeling disappointment. There's regret, but there's some type of forgiveness uh, that has to take place here. Okay. Um, yeah. I do feel that there's trust issues here as well, okay? Uh, but there will be some type of communication. It's just that this is what uh, I am being shown, okay? So, Virgo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. To your all signs uh, from September 18th to the 24th, this is about you and versus them. Versus them could be anybody in your life. Uh, and if there's no anybody in your life, then this could be about your home, your community, your workspace, or the world at large. Or this whole reading could be about you, okay? And then I will also look at the conclusion. Leo. What's going on for you, Leo? Okay, well, there's something, there's a cycle that you ended already, or you have been, or will be ending. Okay, and you're going to the next level. This is great, okay? The success and victory aligned for you from a time where maybe you felt left out, ghosted, or not making enough money here, or abandoned. Uh, you overcame something, and there's a gain coming in. Okay, yeah, uh, definitely in terms of money uh, for you, Leo, uh, you're going higher. Okay, uh, there's more money coming in for you. You've been reevaluating everything, right? You've been reevaluating everything. You've been putting a lot of hard work here in a situation. Um, what else can I say? Uh, And there will be harvest gap yeah, because you're going to the next level definitely and so you could be at crossroads uh, as you're completing something and going to the next cycle here okay your circle is small too i do feel that your friendship circle or some type of circle is getting uh, is smaller here and you're putting your boundaries up after an ending of a cycle again it shows up you've been putting a lot of energy and work into something really trying to perfect something in terms like there's like you're, some of you are really like have been uh, maybe got a raise or something like this, whatever it is. Okay, uh, there is a, there's also a, a bond here, a choice that you have to make. There's a strong soul bond between someone here. As you're going through your changes, this situation or person just shows up in your life, maybe. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Yeah, this is definitely someone from your past. It could be anybody here or from a past life. Uh, I do feel that like you are going through a lot of conflict at work here or some type of competition or drama. There's something that uh, you have conflict in or on. And I do see that you are, even though you're wanting to take action towards a situation here, I feel that you're in conflict with yourself. 
Okay, whatever this is, because you're feeling also very nostalgic at this time as well. Uh, or this is an energy that keeps coming in and out of your life. You're, it's not stable. They're very restless. Or maybe you're feeling restless. But uh, I feel around your birthday, Leo, I feel that things started getting aligned and a lot of messages were starting to come through here. Um, Spirit wants you to understand that whatever regrets, disappointments that you've been going through here, um, there's a certain aligning to a situation. I think you, you are or will realize that uh, that there is a silver lining here, okay? And uh, you will have closure because you are going to the next level with the world card. And there will be a breakthrough for you, like some type of clarity or communication that's going to take place, Leo. Okay, definitely here. As you're planning, as you're making progress, okay, you're still not really taking action towards it. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's important to open your heart to this because some of you are holding back how you're truly feeling. And this is uh, something that's destined and faded and it's karma. Are you going to seize it? Are you going to seize this? Because this is going to bring like whatever, whoever this is in your life, whatever this is, that this is a decision that you have to make here. And that's whatever that's destined here. It's going to bring balance to you. Okay. Definitely there's going to be balance. Now let's look at them. Who are you dealing with? You're dealing with someone that's very patient, okay? Uh, this is a wish fulfillment that they want. Uh, they want to compromise or they want to moderate or they want to communicate is what I'm being told. They bring, they're, some of them, th this is a person that's a healer or some type of healing. There's some type of healing when you're around this person. They're very secretive and quiet about how they feel about you. Yeah, they're not telling you anything. Okay, uh, they're in their head about it. Maybe they have one, more than one choice here, but the, this is they feel that this is destined okay um there's a sense of uh, they're also healing as well so they are healing they are also uh, there's faith and yeah there's definitely healing here 100 percent. it's something that's destined here and they're coming in with some type of stability or some type of uh, there's they're coming in with something here okay that's tangible they are open to love they are but they've been also going through a lot of burdens in their life okay and carrying the weight on their shoulders uh, they have been working on themselves. There's prosperity around them as well. Very nurturing energy. And they walked away from people or situations or from a life that uh, where they have to walk away from something that's been causing them a lot of burden here. They're trying to open their heart here to give you something. They're, they want to open your heart. They're open-hearted when they talk to you. If you, you talk to this person, uh, or, um, but I do feel here is that uh, they are open-hearted and they are you know uh, they're not it's not fast pay, fast okay it's more a slow energy okay they're making progress here and uh, some of them are could be a mother they could be mothers okay or there could be an energy here of also uh, in terms of their career there, there's new opportunities for them as they're birding something new here and yeah they're coming in with an offer definitely there will be s some type of communication here definitely there's gonna be communication okay uh, but not much Let's look at the conclusion here, Leo. Yes, the lights keep flickering on and off, and they've been doing that since um, I started the videos today. So let's see what the conclusion is. There's someone here that wants to give love, okay? There's someone here that's whole. Um, I do have the King and Queen of Cups, so there is love here. Uh, there's a way out to uh, something here. There's something that they're uh, maybe attached to the material world. If it's not that, there could be patterns that they're looking at here. They're, they're, there's a stalemate energy where they're like, because, because uh, I don't see like the main action taking place here, right? So, stalemate. But there's a way out of that. There's going to be communication. Someone here is communicating logically at this time very intelligent and there is some, there is a positive energy around this okay and there could be a new beginning in love family whatever it is here but just understand that uh, there's endings that both of you have to do and uh, 
there's endings and new beginnings are taking place and there is a transformation and there will be uh, so that uh, there will be uh, a, a new start of passion here okay there's definitely but uh, it doesn't show when uh, the latest month I do have here is from um, I would say from October to January February of 2024 all right that's what I have for you Leo I hope you enjoyed it and now next we are doing is cancer hello cancers hello my beautiful CMC's long time no see <laughs> yes I'm taking time out and I will be taking more time out as I go along I'm gonna be doing coming back to the readings very slowly I'm gonna start with the all signs and then work my way into doing something different for the channel as I cannot do weeklies every week uh, because it's um, taking a lot of my energy so I will still be posting videos yes but not weeklies maybe monthlies mid months uh, all signs uh, I'll see do something different I also do new material for TikTok so those of you that want to follow me on TikTok too, uh, everything is underneath the com. Uh, everything is underneath the, um, the description box below. The lights keep flickering back on and off, and this is a brand new light. Um, I don't know what's going on. I checked it. I rechecked it. Everything's good. I'm not even touching the plugs at all. So whatever that's happening uh, is supernatural. <laughs> Okay, so Cancer, uh, this is all signs from September 18th to the 24th. We're going to see you and them. Them can be anybody. If there's nobody attached to you, then it's about your home, your community, or the world at large. Or this reading is all about you. Okay, so let's see what's happening for Cancer. Take what's yours in the reading and let the rest go, right? And feel free to swap the energies around as well. Mm. Cancer. Cancer. Well, there's a delay. Uh, <clears throat> the Eight of Wands came reversed. There could be a delay of messages coming through. Uh, maybe at times you feel that you're aligned and at times you don't feel aligned. some of you are multitasking or not able to multitask at this time okay so something here is off in terms of communication <clears throat> as you're planning you're making progress okay as you're pr maybe partnering with work people situation here there's still not action taking place but you do see that there's something destined for you okay definitely okay um you're f you're trying to get inspired again there could be inspiration fulfillment and having faith here and a lot of healing that's taking place but definitely um, a wish that's being granted for you you're trying to bring something into balance here uh, and maybe trying to compromise you're trying to you know moderate something uh, something uh, or also patience is needed or communication is needed you're trying to organize stuff um, you know in terms of uh, you're trying to take leadership in a, in, a, in a you're trying to go to a certain direction I do see 414 I don't know if that's important for you 414 or it could be 144 or 441 whatever the case here is about taking uh, you, you have to like go of control of something here you have to like go of control of the outcome of a situation um, because there is like it's a sense of taking action towards a commitment towards yourself towards something here whatever this is for you it's about you taking action but at first you need to come into balance and you need to compromise on something within yourself there's a there's a sense of ego as well that's also there there could be illusion dependency here or attached to the material world uh, if not it's not that it's there's a lot of there's patterns here so there is patterns okay and uh, there's you're going through at this time since um, I would tell you when uh, for you cancers when the when the um, the north node and the south node change that's when um the even though you've been in the healing journey for a while the, there has been more healing journey 
from that time, okay? Because something was imbalanced here. You want stability in a home, and there is here. There's contentment, celebration, prosperity, less interference. This can be in your community, it could be in a workspace or your home. Um, there could be a partnership, some type of commitment, or some type of reconciliation here. Uh, there could be someone old and someone new, if it's about love, okay? <clears throat> this is about emotions, it's about intuition, um, feeling overwhelmed here. Uh, there could be any type of relationship around you. There's been a lot of worry, anxiety, not sleeping at night, okay? Um, negativity, and you're feeling stuck. Maybe the way you're thinking about it, maybe you have a doubt, uh, you have self-doubt, uh, there's a lot of confusion. Uh, just know that you do have free will here and in around your birthdays uh, cancers you decide to take your power back and move away from a situation that you cannot understand any longer because it was too confusing and it really hurt you a lot here okay so uh, you took your power back you move forward in terms of your creativity or in terms of, of a commitment or work work whatever this was here okay and there's a recognition um, I do see that you will be successful here. There's generosity and prosperity around this. There could be some type of collaboration coming towards you, towards your talent, uh, or you've been wanting to collaborate, okay? And um, at the same time, while you're going through all this, you have, with the Six of Cups, there's someone here uh, of the past or a past life that you're dealing with. It could be about your childhood. A lot of the healing has to do with your childhood, uh, okay? And your or memories that you had here. Um, and feeling nostalgic all right so let's look at them what are they going through now whoever you're dealing with they're in the hermit mode they're not they're taking time out completely from people or situations and they're going with them they're meditating they're reflecting they're going through a deep healing they all have introspection and uh, self-discovery they're probably getting mentored by someone okay that's helping them out okay because they're at crossroads <clears throat> in their life there's uh, you know there's uh, indecisions here and they're trying to avoid something and um, there's a confusion. They have been nurturing themselves. That's 100% here. They've been nurturing the self. They're stable when it comes to their finances. Um, they're, <clears throat> they're also working on their confidence here and their, um, yeah, their passions. And uh, especially for them, uh, since uh, I would say August and uh, September, uh, they, they have been going through some challenges, uh, some challenging times here, and uh, they're persevering, okay, definitely persevering through something here. And again, here, they're like moving slowly, they're making progress, but slowly here. They're going, th they're very traditional. Um, there's something long term here that they want be some type of inheritance or um, buying an estate or buying a home uh, something long term in terms of their goals and dreams uh, maybe they have to leave a job to another job I don't know if this has to do with a job or a situation or like work and uh, their passions here there's an ending of a cycle for them that they have to go through they have to go do they have, someone here has to let go of something to have something else to achieve something else here okay so there there is gonna be some type of freedom and recovery okay but at this time they're still feeling disappointment that they have regret and they're going through a stages of forgiveness um, they're very compassionate understanding and trustworthy and they're also very inspirational um, they're very charismatic as well and innovative and I, I do have the king and queen of wands here so there's passion between two people very intelligent uh, very determined okay and energy and uh, They've been focusing on details. They've been focusing on their work. There's something they're focusing on here, okay? And they want love. They want family. They want love. They want blessings, okay? And uh, there is going to be success here, recognition, and they're feeling pretty much enthusiastic, and there is a new beginning here. When is this going to take place? 
Let me see what the conclusion is. So someone here is going to definitely take action, but when? I don't know. Maybe you need to take action. Who knows? Let's see here. Because they're, like I said, they're taking time out now. They're going through a healing. So are you. You both are. If this is about another person that's attached to you. I have the king and queen of earth and the king and queen of wands. Hmm. Let's see the conclusion. The lovers. Yeah. It's a strong bond between you and another person here. It could be about friendship, relationship, emo emotions, and choices that you have to do. Uh, there's something coming into balance. There could be a windfall around this situation. Here you go. Uh, someone that's... Uh, I feel that there's going to be some type of communication here. Someone here that's very respected, very knowledgeable. And they've been very observant. Pisces. Again, Pisces keep... I know that a lot of you are dealing with a Pisces or the... If it's not in their sun sign, they could be their rising and their moon. Whatever it is here, there's a lot of fear-based energy into this situation here because this is a, again, it, it, it keeps showing up as a past life or someone from your past or someone that you've known. <clears throat> there's going to be some type of revelation, okay? There's fears. Yes, there is fears here, 100%. Patterns that are showing up. Uh, not under like there's not really a date or it's not being shown when this will take place okay it's not being shown and there's a lot of conflict around this within you around you okay there's a lot of conflict and someone here did walk away from something here but again uh, it's about you opening your heart some of you have to open your heart to a situation because what's being shown to me is that there is a renewal there's definitely a renewal between or definitely there's a death and rebirth but there's definitely a renewal here and this is a wish fulfillment yeah definitely okay so this is what i have for you cancers and next okay gemini welcome to your all signs uh reading from uh, september 18 to the 24th this is about you and them uh, uh, them could be anybody in your life if there's nobody attached to you then it's about your family your household your community or the world at large if not this whole reading could be about you okay um so the lights keep flickering and i know i know that my light is working perfectly well it always has been but sometimes supernatural things happen to me in my readings and they have been happening for since i opened the channel on youtube so if the lights keep flickering on and off just know that those are potentials okay and there's a, maybe a sign for someone it's just a sign maybe a sign it's a sign you know the lights coming on and off right Okay, so in the reading, take what's yours, let the rest go, and feel free to swap the energies around if you feel I'm not talking about you. So, Gemini, let's see what's going on here for you. Okay, Gems. Oh, wow. Perfect. Well, there's definitely, uh, it's about seizing the moment here uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. There's good luck here that's taking place. Uh, karma, or of course, something destined and faded. Let's see. This is about new beginnings here. Yeah, there's someone in here. Uh, I feel that you're very, uh, at this time, you're feeling very passion. There's a lot of passion here. Um, something is coming into alignment for you. Um, I don't know if this is an energy coming towards you, Gemini. As someone coming in that's very charismatic or someone that's coming in uh, some type of uh, opportunity here coming in for you but you have been reevaluating re everything okay and um, you, you put hard work in a situation you've been very patient here and uh, something is about to pay off definitely uh, there is some type of action taking place and uh, things are you know multitasking um, just a lot of messages coming through you hearing the messages coming in here um, What's on here? There's a wish fulfillment that you truly want here. But some of you are still holding back. Yeah, you're still holding back. Maybe you're trying to budget yourselves on something. I don't know if this has to do with finances. But there's a wish fulfillment here. And uh, there's some type of st stubbornness around this situation. Someone's feeling stubborn. 
Boundaries have to be put up here in a situation, okay? Because there is a new beginning for you. And you are completing something because that's what you got the Wheel of Fortune. So you got the World card. So you're going to the next level. So there is a cycle that you're ending here or you have ha ended here, okay? And uh, sense of belonging, okay? There's going to be like a, a fulfillment here, uh, achievement, okay? And I see that your circle is getting smaller, but there is success here, okay? And there will be clarity for you. There's going to be new ideas coming in and new, new plans, Whatever it is, there's something, there's a breakthrough here, okay? And it's in divine timing, and you're feeling enthusiastic here, right? <clears throat> you're feeling enthusiastic. Let's look at them. Are you going to seize the wheel, gems? Are you? Aren't you? I don't know. We will see. Let's look at them and see what they're going through. So they are feeling, right now, they're feeling left out, abandoned, ghosted. Okay, maybe they're having uh, financial issues here. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, someone's bored here. They don't have apathy. They have, it could be regrets over missed opportunities here. Uh, there's completions around this. If there was about money, there's new beginnings taking place here with this individual as well. <clears throat> this could be a mother or father figure. It doesn't have to be. Um, but um, I just feel like, you know, there could be new opportunities around this person. But they're indecisive. They have to make a decision here. Something has been stalemate. There's been defeat for them. And they're feeling stuck. They have restrictions. They're in their head a lot. What do they want? They want stability. They want to be happy. Uh, there could be some type of proposal here. In a community, in a home, whatever this is, there's in, they're they're trying to use their intuition as the messages are coming in. There could be love, or some type of kindness here, um, or some type of idea coming in. Okay, but there's something that's being shown. Uh, also, uh, just a lot of intuition, energy, and uh, it's about taking leadership here. It's about there's a bigger picture here in a situation, and I do see someone here that has been taking time out to heal. They've been uh, trying to gain clarity here. Okay. Uh, because there's been um, even standing up for themselves okay or standing their ground there's been confusion around them maybe many dreams that they want but there's still confusion around them mm. I don't know what this is about let's look at the conclusion here Someone here, or both of you are, at this month, taking time out to uh, reflect, okay? Um, taking time out to, to go through uh, deeper energy healing here, just trying to... Uh, I feel that someone here is uh, in the hermit mode, okay? They're making a break for it. Um, someone's going to come clean about something. Yeah. Because they're trying to bring something into balance, but at the same time, I feel that there's two. They're indecisive about something here. Uh, and there will be some type of recognition here uh, or reward in this situation. And also, it could be a marriage or a relationship here. There's happy times. They feel destined. They feel, or this, this situation between you both, you are both destined to each other, okay? There's a sense of destiny. And um, the truth is coming in, balance is coming in, justice is coming in for you. There is love here between two people, or whatever this is, whatever unity, love, partnership, whatever this is, or um, there's an attraction here, there's a connection here. And yes, there will be someone coming in to give you a message, whether it's you or them, but something is coming together here, definitely. Okay, uh, something is coming and there, you know, um, there is a moving on from the negativity from the situation. Uh, both of you are going through a transition. You've been nurturing yourself. Uh, this is a strong connection and there is a judgment that you will have to make here. Okay, gems. So I'll leave you to that. There's no, do, there's no dates to it, but October, um, October and, uh, no, sorry, September, October uh, seem very, very, seems something in october and november is going to take place here for you okay so please let me know in the comments come back in october and november if you do remember 
Uh, let me know if, uh, because I do see some coming, something coming into uh, fruition here. Uh, something coming into balance after a time of separation and hurt and pain. All right. So, okay, Taurus, welcome to your all signs. You versus them. You, of course, and them could be about anybody. If there's nobody attached to you, then it could be about your home, community, workplace. And if there's nothing in that sense, then the whole reading is about you. And then we're going to look at the conclusion. Now, my lights keep flickering on and off, and it's been going on all day. So, you know, um, my light is working perfectly well. Never had problems with it. But sometimes I do have supernatural things that happen in my readings. So when the lights go on and off, there's a reason. Okay, so let's pay attention. Let's uh, see what's going on here. I guess the angels are near. And sometimes they like to have fun and play. <laughs> so, Taurus, let's see what's going on here for you. It's from September 20th, 18th. Sorry, uh, September 18th to the 24th. And again, uh, take what's yours in the reading. Let the rest go. And feel free to swap the energies around if you feel that I'm not talking about you. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. There's stability around you in a home. There's more celebration, less uh, interference here. This could be in the community that you're in or in a home or in a business. But there's some type of proposal here. But there's definitely stability here. And it also shows me that there's something long term. You've got the four of wands with the ten of pentacles. There's new beginnings that are taking place. Okay, it could be inheritance, some money coming in. It could be buying an estate, buying a home. But there's something, maybe a project that you're going to be working on. Maybe this is what you want. You want a home down the line or a business. Whatever it is, you're showing up, okay, in your reading. Uh, here you are. You're very giving. You're very reserved right now with your love, okay. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you speak when you have to speak. You're uh, following your intuition. There's an offer coming in. Definitely, and there will, with this offer coming in, whatever this offer is, uh, yeah, you're going to see right through it uh, as a, an opportunity, and there's going to be clarity and communication here. The sun is shining on you. Um, maybe in the past there was some type of defeat that you had to go through, or maybe you had to go through experiences of sabotaging things, or just people not having your back here, okay? There could be an apology coming in, maybe you apologizing to someone, apologizing someone. Whatever, if this is an apology or some type of offer here, you're going to the next level. So there, you're, there's an ending of a cycle that you're going through at this time, okay? There's an ending of a cycle, and I feel that your 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 circle is getting smaller, but more, more refined here. Um, there could be a success victory, of course, and traveling, but whatever the case is, you're going to the next level, and you are going through endings and new beginnings, so you are going through a transformation. Something is definitely coming into balance here. And you've been working on your also on yourself as well, okay? Letting go of regrets, letting go. Uh, there could be some type of forgiveness here, definitely. And there's going to be a new beginning here because I do see you're very determined to move forward. Now, let's look at them. Very straightforward for you. I love that. Very straight. Well, they had a tower moment. That's what happened to them, okay? So they have a... They have a tower. They had a tower moment that took place for them. Let's see what else. They're feeling stuck. They're feeling stuck. Yeah, they're in their head about something, feeling negative about something. The tower is coming in to change something, and there's an offer coming in for them. Some the, the divine is coming in to help them with something tangible or something for gift. Okay, uh, they've been uh, in the cocoon stage or stalemate in a situation for a while here. They can move. Okay, cocoon stage. But uh, something like the tower coming in, something is being erased from them or taken away from them. And there's like a new beginning in maybe finances or something tangible, inspiration, uh, chemistry here. But they're feeling very passionate here and they're taking action. There will be some type of communication coming in and better ideas and better understanding that's going to take place. Um, and they're planning ahead and making progress. But again, uh, they, you know they go back and forth on that you know they're very restless in energy and they have a lot of fears and patterns that they still need to deal with and their intuition is not really on target here they're trying their best they are 
but something is still in the unknown. Again, they keep showing up as like they're reevaluating everything. They're really at crossroads while this new beginning takes place here. And there could be confusion around which direction they want to go towards. And yes, they are also going through an ending. Okay, an ending of a cycle. And there's light for them at the end of the tunnel. And they are being pushed towards some type of destiny. And they're being fated or destined or pushed towards a direction. Because there's a wish that's going to be granted after nights and nights of sleepless nights and anxiety they're taking their power back and they're moving forward with conviction here okay and they've been manifesting so let's look at the conclusion oops between you and them they're waiting for the ships to come in so there's they're waiting for the reunion they want to celebrate with you they want to be with you i do feel there's could be networking but they're waiting for the reunion someone here is waiting and they've been standing their ground um they've been heartbroken but they are they are going through a healing process right now or both parties here uh, but what i see here is that uh, they're getting clarity and they're healing they've been going through a lot of tests in life a lot of conflict around them, a lot of burden around them, but they're watching you. They're watching you. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Yes, they've been observing. So they're waiting. This is what I'm getting is that they're waiting. They're waiting for you to communicate because there will be forgiveness here. Yeah, so yeah, the, both of the parties will be moving on. Uh, there's a transition to, and better times are coming ahead. Uh, there could be traveling indicated here, okay? So this is what I have for you, Taurus. And next and last but not least, we're doing is Aries. Aries Nation. Hi, Aries, and welcome to your all signs from September 18th to the 24th. This is about you and them. Them could be anybody in your life. If there's nobody attached to you, then it could be about your home your community, your work, whatever it is here. Oh, look at that, this card wanted to come out, judgment. Mm -hmm. So there's some type of revelation here and judgment that has to take place. Uh, feel free to swap the energies around if you feel like I'm not talking about you and take what's yours and let the rest go. And if not, the whole reading could be about you and there also will be a conclusion. This card keeps coming up for you, judgment. So we're gonna have to see what this is all about. Aries. Let's see what's again. Look how many times the card came out for you. What does this mean for you? There's something here, huh? Isn't there? Yep. Some type of judgment when it comes to your happiness. Okay. Let's start the reading. Well, you're trying to bring something into balance here, or maybe you have already, or you're starting to. And I do feel that, in uh, especially in the month of August, maybe before that, uh, whatever this is, uh, there's a new beginnings here because I see that there's you're multitasking, you're doing a lot at the same time, you're receiving the messages very clear, there's a lot of swiftness, and uh, there's like a, it's about you seizing the moment because there's a moment of like synchronicities happening, uh, serendipity. Ser ser <laughs> no, I'm not saying it right. But yeah, I think you understand that. So there's like, it's about seizing the moment because there's like, there's luck here, okay, the, uh, karma and something destined and faded. And it's about you, uh, it's about you if you are going to seize that moment. Um, maybe you are at times 
being pulled into different directions as you're trying to bring something into balance. It's very important at this time that you aren't grounded, okay, Aries, because I do see an offer coming in. There's definitely an offer and you are feeling stuck with this offer, okay? You're, you're probably having doubts about it, uh, you're in your head about it, but there is free will here. And I do see celebrations and networks and socializing taking place here around you or some type of reunion or reun uh, reunions. Or there's a new beginning in terms of your creativity as well, uh, you know, passion, or it could be some type of chemistry here, um, but you're, be you're keeping very quiet about it. Mm -hmm. You're very quiet about what you, what you truly want here, okay? You're keeping quiet. You're making a break for something and you're keeping quiet about it. There's a wish fulfillment here for you. And there's also love, happiness, uh, bl uh, blessings. Uh, there could be some type of uh, new beginning taking place here for you, okay? But you are attached. Now, this will not be for all of you, but you will be attached. Some of you are attached to some type of uh, material world, maybe. Um, you know, there's been uh, sar sar having a... a feeling that you're lacking something here there could be patterns that keep showing up here for you patterns yes some type of patterns uh but definitely um you're contemplating a lot here and you will have to make a judgment see this card was for you there's a judgment here that you will have to make because there is a new beginning that's ushering it's about you taking a leap of faith all right and you have been observing at this time you've been observing you've been observing something there could be some type of communication you're waiting for your ships to come in and again being shown is that you're going to the next level so you're completing a cycle but you're still going through it so you're going to be completing a cycle here going to the next level you're you're you're, you're putting boundaries around something here as well and there's victory and success okay and um especially the month of August, I feel here, has been very prominent for you. Uh, you put a lot of inner strength into something, okay, to complete something here. Let's look at them. They're also feeling very destined towards you as well, okay? Uh, something that's faded. There's, they, there's a wish that they want here, and they're also going through healing. They've been nurturing themselves, okay? Definitely nurturing themselves. And uh, they're probably leaders or their own entrepreneurs or they're like their own bosses in a, in a situation or in a workspace, whatever it is here. They're looking at the bigger picture of a situation and looking right at you. So I do feel that there's someone, I do feel like there's an energy of someone here wanting to take action here. Queen and King of Wands, there's two people that are very passionate here. Um, there's an energy of two people. There's another energy attached to you. A very determined, very compassionate, an energy, uh, very magnetic, okay? And um, uh, someone here that's been working on their self-confidence as well. And you are at this time, or they are, sorry, they are uh, reevaluating everything. And uh, they've been putting a lot of hard work here. There's, they're at crossroads, okay? Whoever that you're dealing with. Uh, they also sense that there's a strong bond between you and them, but there's choices that have to be made. At this time, the communication isn't that great, okay? Uh, there's someone here, uh, they are going through a, uh, there's an ending of a cycle that they have to deal with. And um, yeah, and beginnings are taking place, but and definitely there's an ending of a cycle here. Um, and uh, there's also new opportunities around them as well. Uh, they're trying to birth something new into existence here, okay? Um, they're putting a lot of uh, self-care and self-love into themselves. Uh, there's going to be something, yeah, so their forgiveness is here too. They're walking away from something here. From some of them, they're walking away from a marriage. From others, they're walking away from uh, having a different point of views. There's something that they had to walk away because they created that Ten of Swords energy, okay? Or someone in their life created that Ten of Swords energy. And they're following their intuition here, definitely, okay? And uh, there are definitely, there's going to be messages coming in, um, possibilities, okay, definitely. So they're in the cocoon stage or they've been stalemate for a while. Let's look at the conclusion here. They're feeling... Could be both parties are feeling nostalgic this could be a past life uh, connection or a connection from the past 
they've been in cocoon stage something has been stalemate they've been trying to heal here i do see that and uh what i'm being shown is that someone is still holding back how they truly feel they're in their head about it they're indecisive they have to make there's decisions that they have to make here and they've been also could be that they're blocking the situation they're not they're very persevere whoever this is is persevering but they've been going through a lot of tests here okay and uh there's an offering coming in if this comes in together there is stability here the beginning of some type of stability here okay definitely and uh, patience is needed compromise is needed in this and healing is needed okay so a lot of healing has to take place because the sun is shining on this but there is some type of heartbreak here uh, that uh, took place or regrets or um, there's some sense of forgiveness and someone here is taking time out to heal taking time out to uh, go on their journey uh, because there's been so many burdens and also fear is attached there's a lot of fear based but what's being shown to me is that there will be some type of communication coming in that could lead to some type of strong foundation teamwork or uh, collaboration or something here that uh, in the community and there is going to be definitely uh, an energy here of um, success and recognition through hard work if they've been going through conflict or situation there is still planning and progress there is someone that's open here to give love and there is a message that's going to come in i feel that someone is going to come and give you a message or it could be vice versa here okay because both of you want stability um not sleeping at night you're worried but justice is coming in so something is definitely coming into balance here uh, i do see this happening in the month of uh I would say October, November, even though well, I would say September, October. Okay, something in that uh, realm uh, up to uh, January of 2024. Okay, so um, you're both manifesting each other here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed your reading and please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.